Hello everyone, Rich from Mode. Uh, this week's review, uh, more Hyundai equipment, and it's this leaf blower that you would have seen a couple of weeks ago actually in our Scarify video, where we used it to move a load of thatch and, and it performed really well. But today is the, the look specifically at this tool. So uh, we're gonna spend five minutes just going through its capabilities and uh, why it might be a useful tool for you. So first of all, it's a 3000 watt motor in here. It's cabled, we've got 10 meters of cable. So again, just remember that you're tethered much like this, the Scarify the other week. But with that 3000 watt motor the performance is actually quite impressive you're going to move 13 and a half cubic meters of air whether that's on blow or suck and um, it's, it's actually going to be able to produce a flow of around 170 miles per hour which i think is pretty impressive and today we will be testing that because it is a bit damp and all the leaves that i've got to move because they're wet they're going to be obviously a little bit stickier so we'll see how that performs uh, one of the final figures we've got for you on this um, um, uh, leaf blower and sucker is, is the fact that it's actually a mulcher as well so when we put the bag on it's a 45 litre bag we connect it in here change the setting so that it goes from blow to suck and it actually mulches as it collects the leaves so we'll have a look at that function apparently you can you can reduce the volume by by 10 times so a 10 litre down to one litre so the idea of that is that it composts quicker and it takes up less room so there's less emptying so i'm interested to see what the performance of this will be like uh, for its normal use of leaf collection compared to say using a rotary mower or a rake or even the scarify with a tine on it so uh uh, yeah, fewer things actually. We've got the wheels on the bottom, uh, so you can actually, you don't have to hold it suspended, you can just wheel it across the floor. Um, you can adjust, depending on how high you are, what you're using it for, you can adjust the neck. You've got a grab handle at the front which folds down, and over here you can adjust the setting. So if you don't need it on max all the time, you don't have to, but who's going to move it off max? Um, we've also got as well, we'll show you in a moment, you've got a shoulder clip which clips on here, so again, just takes the weight of the machine and balances it quite nicely there. And of course, the grass collector which just clips into the base here so at the moment uh, we're on blow uh, when we move this lever it'll then go into suck and that's where the grinding happens and it'll end up putting it into the bag um, so uh, I say we've got some wet leaves to move today so uh, let's see how, how it works <laughs> Um, so that's taken probably about, I don't know, four minutes or so. Uh, one thing I've already noticed is um, if you're collecting the leaves into a big pile, obviously there's no limit on, on this blow, so you, you can struggle to get a really condensed pile. So the, the irony is not lost on me that I might use a rake in a moment just to make this last little pile <laughs> nice and concise. Um, I'm going to put the basket on now, the, the collector, and we're actually going to take this pile, suck it up and shred it and, and see how that works. So I stand corrected actually, I was going to use the rake to get it into a pile to then collect it up and I thought I'm going to use it like a vacuum, it's got the wheels on. So I connected the the, um, uh, the, the grass, the, the, the collector, 45 litre collector, changed the setting to suck and you can see how it just took up that pile and um, very much using it like um, a, a vacuum to move back and forth and it shredded it all up and I've got to be honest, there is doesn't feel like a lot in there at all so I'm gonna go and empty this into the compost now and um, you can see what how much volume has actually come out of there um, so we're gonna empty this into the compost and we've got loads of grass clippings from the last couple of weeks a lot of grass cutting so actually adding a bit of a bit of carbon brown from all the dead leaves is absolutely ideal 
So I'm going to open the zipper. Let's see how much all those leaves actually count for. Here we go, look at that. That is all of the leaves that we've just collected. Nicely shredded up as well. So now that's going to mix up and compost brilliantly. So it's only taken uh, yeah, like five minutes to collect all those leaves up. And actually, I'm, I, I didn't think I was going to like this machine. I, I'm not a fan of tethered machines generally. And I did think it was going to lack a bit of power, similar to the Scarifier. That was my thought. But actually, again, I've been quite impressed with it. Um, we blew all the leaves into the pile. We shredded them up. That, that's the function I really like is the shredding, being able to condense it all right down. And um, what I will say is if you want to get every single leaf up in your garden, um, you are going to be better off with a raking cassette on a Scarifier or a um, like an Atco a Balmoral like I've got, because that can just get deeper and pick most of the leaves up. Um, if you're only going to collect leaves when you cut your grass and you've got a rotary mower, that'll pick them up absolutely fine. But like you know, I do advise that you collect your leaves regularly, especially this time of year in the autumn, because it can create issues with the grass and introduce disease. So this would be brilliant. And um, this would be great if you've got concentrated areas of leaf fall. You can see here we've got a few trees around. The trees always end up in that part of the garden. So it's brilliant for that. Another bit it's really great for is clearing the patio away, actually. Um, the leaves always make it down to the patio and it's really easy to just blow them off and we get loads of leaves on the flower beds now when you put this onto the vacuum function it lifts the leaves and leaves all the soil behind so it's a really great way to whip around and just pull all the leaves off of your flower beds keep everything looking tidy um, i'm really impressed with the performance it blows really well moves a lot of air a lot of leaves and don't forget today's a difficult day because it is so damp out here um, but based on all of that i'm going to give this again another four out of five and i'd right really recommend uh, that you put this one in your tool shed. So that's the end of another review. Hope you've liked it. The Hyundai gear that we're showing you is, is proving to be really, really good value and robust at the moment. Um, do us a favour, if you've enjoyed this video today, you found it useful, uh, give us a thumbs up, like it, and also subscribe to the channel. Um, share it with all your friends, and if you hit the bell notification as well, um, every Saturday we're putting out a video, and you'll get that notification uh, that we've just launched one. Um, but apart from that, if you want to buy your Hyundai equipment, you can go to www.mode.uk uh, where you'll find some of the best prices around. And also, don't forget to check out our lawn care packages while you're there. So if you want to see some more uh, Hyundai uh, review videos, and we've got a playlist, then you can click down here. And actually, if you want to see more lawn renovation videos, uh, then you can click up here.